This is Sims, and we are back with more Psychedelic of the Ashen Hawk. And we were just starting in somewhere in Chapter 2. We've just gone down this path after going through the map. Um, and we started reading it in the last part. We realized, now it's probably a better idea that we don't. And we start here. So, here we are. I went around town for the next few days, but I couldn't find any particular clues that would help me. I also feel like I had a revelation about this game last night, like when I was going to bed. And now I can't remember what it was. But I'm like, maybe it was a dream. Or, I don't know. Maybe it was something I said in the last part, but like I all of a sudden was like, oh my god, I thought of something. And I don't remember what it is, just in case randomly I come up with something. Or, you know, that's for when something happens and they go, that's what I was thinking, but I never said it because I forgot. Because that's bound to happen. I don't, anyway. It was early morning when I uh, went out to town again, but in order to live my regular life, the Kaleido Via couldn't be my only focus. I still had to continue my work as a handyman. There we go. So do I just need to place it over here? Yes, you're a lifesaver. Thank you, Spacey. It's all right. It's my job after all. If I could find a way to get some information from the townspeople while working, it'd be killing two birds with one stone. The masquerade's coming up soon, isn't it? Yes, it is. I hate how time seems to really fly so quickly nowadays. Did you ever see the Kaleidovia? Kaleidovia? You don't know. It's said to be on display during the masquerade once every 20 years. And this year is going to be one of those years. I would have been a tiny little girl back then. Doubt it. You look like you're 40, lady. So the last one was displayed 20 years ago. I would have just been a tiny little girl back then. Uh-huh. Yeah, me, you and me both. She's like, uh, yeah. Tiny little girl, are you saying you're like, what, 23, 24? Because I doubt that. You like 45 or plus, lady. Ahem, <clears throat> all joking aside, I wonder what the Kaleido Via would have looked like. I just heard about it myself, and so I don't know the details, but isn't it funny that everyone who's old in this fucking town doesn't remember? Hmm, Kaleido Via. Kaleido Via. I'm sorry, I don't remember a thing about it. I see. I really have no idea, but we get to see it this year, right? <laughs> It'll be something to look forward to. I'm not doing your voice, like, slowly falling apart. I don't even know what's happening. I hope we'll get to see it. Not if I can't find it. Not only this person, but everyone in town seemed to react in the same way. It was almost eerie how no one remembered the Kaleidovia. And the actual thing itself might not be anything spectacular, Lauren said it wasn't worth anything either. But if people cared so little about it, maybe the riot we were worried about wouldn't even happen if it was never found. See? That just make And this is why you... If, if you didn't... If you didn't play the first game, I mean, I don't think you're losing anything. I don't think you have to. Um, but you... When they kept... You're like, why do they keep pointing out the moles on this kid's face? Obviously, you've... Could, made the connection at this point if you've played the first game like we have like yeah no that's a kage okay i get it all right cool but it, it, this just fuels even more that like lawrence is fucking kagia because they have the same voice actor he fucking looks just like him which i thought the instant i pulled the cards out and i just figured you know oh the artwork's the same no okay it was done on purpose i think so anyway um and now it just makes it even more but i still i'm still curious as to what they're actually doing because you know what i mean like we have to find this thing and like no one cares about it and that's suspicious but he's like oh well we have to find it but it's funny that he wants to find it more than elric you know i'm cur i'm so curious thinking about that i felt more at ease um, but it was still too early to come to that conclusion I'd only talk to people I was close to around town. I needed to talk to people in other, in the other faction, the Clan of the Hawk. And I wonder where we're actually... Like, obviously, we are dead and we're in this other world or whatever. But I'm really wondering where... Like, what time period? Is this before? I mean, is this all happening at the same time in Psychedelica that it's going on with Black Butterfly? You know what I mean? I, I feel like it can't be because how would Kaguya... And Hakage be in two places at once, but, I mean, you know, whatever. 
but then also is this take does this take place before like us our spacey this spacey is she like from a time period before betty yuri spacey or after or like like what's something curious about that but anyway kaleidovia yes i was wondering if you knew what it was why do you want to know uh, no particular reason it just piqued my interest you came to talk to me over something as stupid as that Oh, that's this guy's supposed to be... What are you plotting? He's got the quiet voice. He looks shady. I'm not plotting anything. It's just that the masquerade is coming up, so I thought... Anyway, I have nothing to say to a wolf. Go away. I tried talking to a few people on the hawk side, but everyone gave a similar response. I didn't think they would outright refuse to talk to me. I... Though I guess I half expected it. Those guys were wearing Hawk Alliance uniforms, so I guess it couldn't be helped. The Hawks had a group similar to the Vigilantes of the Wolf. The leader of the Alliance was Lugus. Their hostility was probably because of the incident at the town square the other day. For years I tried to stay out of sight, but for better or for worse, my existence had become known to all. Everyone now knew I was on the side of the Wolves. What should I do now? The only thing I've discovered is that neither the wolves nor the hawks knew anything about the Kaleidovia. Or maybe they just didn't care. When do we meet Hugh? It's, we're like two chapters in. We're missing a dude. But I wasn't certain whether I should take that at face value. It was a fact that the Kaleidovia was taken from the church. Could it be that someone in the wolf faction took it and everyone was just playing dumb? Or perhaps someone in the hawk faction took it and had everyone pretend to not know about it? Or someone took it and nobody knows about it. I considered the difficulties of each scenario as I walked around, unable to come to a conclusion. How's the investigation going? Boop. I ran into the boy with the rabbit on his head. Oh, right. I completely forgot about him. Where were you? Who cares about that? Why do I have to tell you, Spacey? I thought you were going to help me out. Lawrence was the one who said it. I'm not helping you do anything. You know, you're an evil mastermind, you little bastard. He's such a dick in this, too. Like, besides, what are you expecting from me? I'm just a kid. You're an adult, so do your job on your own. Arr. He was such a cheeky kid. If he didn't have the rabbit on his head, I would have slapped the blonde out of his hair. <laughs> and now we know why he has dark hair. <laughs> So how goes it? Find anything? Nothing. Uh-huh. I knew you were slow. I keep telling you, I'm not slow. Well, you don't know anything. I think you're pretty slow. Such a fucking Hakage look. Oh my god. I'm not slow. But yes, I am in trouble. No one around town has ever seen or heard of it. I tried to talk to the Hawk clan, but they refused to speak to me. I'm at a standstill. Because you're with the wolves? Probably. That's so stupid. What's with this obsession with hawks and wolves? We're all people here. Puh. See? Even Rabbit says so. Yeah, it really is stupid. Even a child knew it, but the adults here were still fixated on it. It could be that because they were adults, they could no longer be swayed otherwise. Hmm... If the wolves can't give you any information, maybe you'll find out if you ask someone else. You finally decided to help me after all. No way. Why should I? There's no one else. Yes, there is. You just need to be a girl. Huh? What was this kid saying? The others don't know, right, Spacey? That you're actually a woman? That's right, he remembered. He... I know, but I can't do that. You want me to dress up as a woman? What's wrong with a woman dressing as a woman? Ugh, well, uh. He got me there. How could I respond? Well, if you don't want to, that's fine. But I did give you a good idea, right? You'd better not say later I didn't help you. The next day, I continued my handyman tasks and, investigate and the investigation. And once again, I achieved nothing. I'm going to... Ign 
ignore Elric's idea for now, but we're eventually going to use it. I can't cross-dress as a woman. I've never done so in my life. I love that. I can't cross-dress. You're cross-dressing right now. <laughs> like, then again, I was actually cross-dressing as a man at that moment. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, snap out of it. You'll hurt yourself. Huh? Oh, sorry. That wasn't good. I need to focus on the work at hand. I was at the tavern, helping out with repairs. Uh, because the masquerade was approaching, they were rearranging the interior so more customers could enter. You seem weak in the knees. Are you sure you're okay? Yes, I'm fine. So, do I just need to put this against the wall? Yes, please. I wasn't great with physical labor to begin with, so I needed to focus. The more I thought about it, the more my thoughts went back to what happened the day before. Dressing like a woman. I looked at the woman that had been giving me directions. She wasn't the owner, but one of the staff members working at the tavern. I mean, seriously, look, her boobs are falling out. Even as a woman myself, I thought she was very feminine. Kind of sexy and bewitching. Say, are you staring at me? Oh, no, I wasn't. <laughs> if you come as a customer, I'll give you all the attention you want. That's not it, really. I didn't know this when I last came by. But not only did the tavern operate as a regular tavern, it also had a secret side to it. A special kind of nightclub. It's a whorehouse. It was a well-known secret among the town folk, especially among the men, as a whorehouse. In other words, her giving me attention as a customer meant... This was bad. My right eye felt like it was getting hotter again. If my emotions were heightened by something like this, and my secret became exposed, it wouldn't be funny at all. No need to be shy. I think I'm starting to like you. I, I didn't really intend it to be that way. Um, the rearranging should be done now. Oh, I thank you. Hmm. What? Unlike me, she looked straight into my face. She was an older woman, but her mannerisms and the way she looked at me were cute. But please don't stare at me like that. You have a very cute face. C cute, but I'm a man. Oh, don't men like being called cute too? I is that how it is? Hmm, uh-huh. Stop staring, please. Say, do you have to wear disguises as a handyman? Like dressing up as a woman? Dressing up as a woman? I jumped a little. It was such a coincidence that I would hear that now. My reaction may have been too strong, but to be honest, I was quite confused. I, I suppose, if the need arises, maybe? Uh, I knew it! Hold on, I have a backup wig. A, a wig? W wait, oh, hold on! Um, I finished with the work, so I'll excuse myself now. That explains why we have to have two different names, because then when we dress up and we're going around and we're like, I'm Spacey as a girl, and everyone's going to be like, well, that's funny. You have I wasn't really thinking that through. So that's like why when she's like, I'm Jed, ha ha, and then everyone, then she's I or whatever her name is, as a girl, whatever it was, as a girl, then everyone, like, it's not Spacey and Spacey, wait, you know what I mean? Mike and Michelle. Susan and Bob. I, I don't know. I just, I ran out of, you know, whatever. Um, so we probably should have done different names, but they're going to call me Spacey all the time, so it's fine. We'll just pretend that it's not the same name and they don't know the difference. Anyway. Yeah, um, I finished with the work, so I'll excuse myself now. I found it. Here, try it on. I know it'll look good on you. No, 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 no. I really can't dress up like a woman. And don't talk back to me. Now put this on. She's got some weird kinks, this lady. Uh, stop! I'd be this woman. Put on a wig. Yeah, now you're hot. <laughs> I like the pretty boys. What am I saying? Why were women so freakishly strong during times like these? She dragged me into another room and set the wig on my head. Huh, huh. You finally calmed down. She dragged you into a room. Uh, I knew it. You look so good in it. Hmm. Hmm. See? What is it? Does it look weird? You're a man, right? 
Of course I am. It's perfect. It looks so good on you that I can only see you as a girl. Th that can't be true. I yeah, no way. Out of the corner of my eye, I could see long locks of hair resting along my shoulder. I think this is about the same length as Francisca's, and the color's similar, too. Hey, you're really liking the way you look, aren't you? I I'm not. Oh, are you sure? She's like, oh my god, you're so gay. Please stop teasing me. Uh, this will never look good on me. She's like, oh my god, you just don't want to admit that you like boys. And you're like, maybe. Like, but there's a reason for that. It's because I'm a girl. But like, <laughs> I'm sorry. I'll give that to you as a gift. Huh? N no, thanks. I won't. I'm going to look so good on you. It'd be a tragedy to separate it from you. I knew she was just teasing me. But if she was actually being honest, does it really look good on me? Yes, very. I... There's a rabbit in the background. I don't know about men, but women primp in teams of two. I suppose it would be hard to put on makeup otherwise. Yes, and we look at our reflections in the other person's eyes, and it would be nice to have something bigger to see ourselves. Well, there's no such thing as mirrors here. <laughs> but you know, if you did, you might fall in love with yourself. That's how good you look. <laughs> if I accepted it, there probably wouldn't be any way out for me. But she was complimenting me so much that it would be rude to outright refuse. Besides, if this really did look good... Thank you for the gift. You're very welcome. This was bad. I could feel my face turning red. I had to get out of there quickly. Oh, well, if you'll excuse me. Oh, wait! Y yes I know it looks really good on you, but you should take it off for now. It doesn't match your outfit. I took her advice and pulled off the wig, holding it close to my chest. Out of embarrassment, I ran out of the tavern at full speed. Then someone's going to see you with a wig. I should roll it up and put it in your bag, girl. It was back at the tower. My face stung from running through the cold winter air but the wig I was carrying was slightly warm. What should I do? I have the wolves can't give you any information. You just need to be a girl. Actually, this was very convenient. In order to continue investigating, I would have to dress up as a woman, and I had just received an item to help me with that. Oh, but my clothes. I'm sure I had women's clothes with me somewhere. Why would I? Why, why would you've been living as a boy for like forever? I should have something I can wear from the batch of used goods I got from a prior job. It felt like things were beginning to progress much more quickly now. I didn't want to dress this way, uh, but it was for the investigation. This was only for work. Um, where's Ash and Hawk to help you put on your makeup? Because I just imagine him like putting your makeup on for you. And it's just like, are you sure you're not gay? You might be a little bit gay, but that's why I love you. I found the clothes immediately. Even after ten minutes of holding one of holding one of the dresses, I was still agonizing over wearing it before I finally gave in and put it on. Oh, Ash and Hawk's going to be all over you. The soft cloth felt so delicate, like it would tear if I handled it too roughly. It was a bit large and difficult to move around in. And the skirt. What was this? I wasn't too fond of the sudden chilly breeze around my legs. Did they all wear such flimsy clothing when they went outside? This was making me depressed. Very depressed. There was no way I could be happy about it. Why don't you put some pants on underneath that shit? I finally put on the wig I was given earlier. Did it match my outfit? What did I look like? I was sure I put it on correctly. I turned around. It felt light. My hair and clothes felt like they were gliding in the wind. One more time. I spun around even faster once more with a little bounce in my step. One turn... Two, three, Ashenhawk. Yeah, I was like, cue Ashenhawk. He's popping in at some point here. And then my eyes met with someone's. I completely forgotten about the Tower Overlord. Oh, well, and this is a surprise. A Ashenhawk, it's not what it looks like. It'd be funnier. It's He knows she's a girl, but it's almost funnier if he didn't. He's like, you're cross-dressing. Wow. Of course, he knows, and that's why he was in bed. We're just two men in bed together. 
<laughs> now you're cross-dressing. Obviously. It's, fu it's funny because you're like, you know she's a girl, but you're still like teasing and being weird. I love him. God, I love him. Oh, my fair lady, what brings you here to this poor tower of mine? Huh? What are you saying? <laughs> it's like he knows it's me, right? Like, what the fuck? Could it be that you're seeking a dance partner in this moonlit ballroom? In that case, although I may be unworthy, I, Ashen Hawk, shall be your partner. L listen to me! Excuse me, allow me to guide you. CG. Look at her, she's like, what the fuck? Ashen Hawk placed his hands around my waist and pulled me toward him. I think we're cuter as a boy. Because, like, now she's, like, super girly. His face was so close. As close as it was when he would give me his good luck charms. C cut it out! You know who I am! Of course. And there's no way I'd mistake you for another. Let me go! You didn't have to mess with me like this! I mess with you? You have the wrong idea. I do believe you're pretty, and I do want to dance with you. Liar. I'm not lying. Look into my eyes. Do they look like they're lying? You only have one because you have a patch on the other one. I don't have to look. You're always... Uh... I could see my own face in Ashen Hawk's eyes. It was the only place in the world where I could see my reflection. So it's really weird because you... There is no mirrors in this world. Were there no mirrors in Black Butterfly? Interesting. Anyway. I was a girl. A girl with the same hair color as Francisca's. A girl who was pitifully trying to push herself away from this man. I suddenly got embarrassed and looked down at the floor. I was sure my face was bright red, so I didn't want him to see... Sorry, it seems I took the joke too far. So you were joking? Oh, actually, okay, we are really cute. I was elated, and that's how cute you look. Huh. I'm going in out of town to ask for information about things. It was the next day after that exchange. It wasn't because I felt more confident after what Ashenhawk said but I decided to leave the tower dressed as a woman. First, I'll go to the church to show Elric. And then I'll go around town to talk to people I couldn't previously. I planned it all out, but quickly regretted it upon stepping outside. It was hard to walk around, and never had the snowy forest been so difficult to trek through. I thought I was used to walking through here, but I didn't think it would be so different in different shoes. Or fucking a skirt. Not only that, but all the snow was so bothersome. I began to worry about whether it would soil the skirt. Although no one was looking, it would be too improper to roll up my skirt to walk. By the time I arrived in town, I had taken more than double the time I usually did. I should wait to change until after I get to town next time. It took as long... I took it as a lesson learned. Well, yeah, because you can... Carry a bag with your shit in it. Oh, welcome. Oh my god. Every time I see him, I just get the cookies. I just get the feels. Like, he's got the, even as the sad, the droopy eyed, right? He's got the sad eyes, but there's something about him. Because he does look so much older. But he's like, oh my god. It's like his older brother, but it's hit. But it's like, oh my god, you're so adorable. <laughs> I get the feels, man. It's like, oh, flashback feels. <laughs> oh, anyway. I opened the door to the church and was welcomed by a smiling Lawrence. I had two problems in that moment. First, how would I talk when dressed this way? And the tone of voice I would use and the way I'd speak had completely slipped my mind. Another problem was how to call Elric over. Lawrence didn't know I was a woman. I'm, I mean, he knows you're a woman. He doesn't know that Spacey's... Spacey is a woman. He knows spicy is a woman. <laughs> and if a stranger called for Elric all of a sudden, it would be far too suspicious. I curse myself for being so careless and not thinking it through ahead of time. Oh my god. 
This is just more fucking proof that he is goddamn fucking Kaguya. Because, like, he recognizes us right away. He knows right away. He's, like, this weird person in the thing living with, like, baby Kakage. Come on. Come on. You're not telling me. And they were... Both of them were... Like, Kaguya had been dead and had been living and working for Hakage the whole time before Black Butterfly even happened, right? He'd been there and like, oh, there's people here in the mansion and blah, blah, blah. And they just kept playing these games. So, yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's it totally would fit. Oh, my God. But then that means... Wait, okay. We don't know if this took place before or after. But if it takes place after, like, in the way the games came out, then, then he didn't actually go back and then a happy ending where all of them were alive? Like... Was it real? That was the ending I wanted! It's the- Oh! Anyway. You look so different. I almost couldn't tell. Huh? Different? What does he mean? I heard from Elric, but I didn't know you could look this cute. Elric! Get out of here right now! I shouted out of instinct. I didn't care how a woman should speak. I heard playful, trotting footsteps get closer. Why are you shouting? Whoa! You really dressed up! You! I told you not to tell anyone! Huh? Yeah, hey, I told Lawrence. It'll be more convenient for you that way. Why would you go and do that? Uh, calm down. A girl shouldn't shout like that. Poop! Poop! I was close to grabbing Elric, but I noticed the rabbit standing between us. She seemed to be looking at me as if she wanted to tell me something. Wh what? Puh? She's asking if she can touch you. I don't mind. Puh! Whoa! The rabbit showed off her jumping prowess and leapt up onto my shoulder. The rabbit's face comes close to mine. I can see her eyes glimmering with envy. I never thought to ask, but perhaps the rabbit was a girl. Puh! Puh! A rabbit is complimenting you. Yes, she's envious, because she's like, you get to be a person, and I'm a fucking rabbit. <laughs> I used to be a person named Usagi. We don't really know what my name was, but it's just so. Her name has been Rabbit in fucking both games. Poor thing. What do you think, Elric? How does Spacey look? Huh. Well, I didn't. Come on. If a girl dresses up, you have to say something. Well, it's not half bad. He was blushing slightly. It seemed he was trying to hide his bashfulness because he's also not like 10 like he's supposed to be. He's like... <laughs> My anger waned after seeing that. No matter how much of a fuss I made about it, I couldn't take back what was already known. Uh, hey, uh, Lawrence, I... You're still speaking in a masculine way. Uh, please don't tell anyone that I'm a woman. Of course I won't. Elric hasn't told anyone but me. You can trust him on that. Really? <laughs> like, <laughs> like, of course I won't tell anyone. Yeah, well, that's exactly what Elric said, and then he told you, and then you're going to tell this person and that person, and then before you know it, everyone is going to know. I glanced at Elric, but he was still looking away. Puh! And the rabbit looked at me with sad eyes. I didn't know rabbits could have so much personality, because she's a person. Fine, I'll believe you, but only because I believe Lawrence and the rabbit. Looking at Lawrence and Elric's, Elric's reactions, it seemed there was no problem with my outfit. I had to go and finish what I set off to do. The first thing would be to talk to the people of the Hawk faction. I hated to admit it, but I was feeling a lot less tense after all that happened in the church just now. I renewed my resolve and headed out to the town square, dressed as a woman. I'd been so fixated on my mission that I hadn't really noticed earlier. Are we going to get the map soon, maybe? But the town was moving quickly in preparation for the masquerade. Some shop stalls had already been set up. Uh, no, it looked like they were stalls preparing for the masquerade. Uh, they were selling decorations and cloth used for the festival. How pretty. Miss, how about this? Huh? It's just for decoration, but we could have people tailor it for you if you'd like. A particular stall had caught my eye, and the shopkeeper noticed. Uh, um, it's not for me. It might be a bit too loud. What are you saying? The masquerade is a festival of abundance. You have to be very aggressive with the flower patterns. Uh-huh. 
And besides, flowers and fruits will be used to decorate the whole town. If you want to stand out, you have to at least do this much. Hey, Grandma. Don't force it on her if she doesn't want it. Who are you calling her Grandma? Never mind that cloth. Take a look at these masks I'm selling. You'll need these for the masquerade. Are you trying to steal my customer? <laughs> oh. You're like, I don't actually have any money on me. Oh, there's a commotion starting over there. It's probably another stupid fight. Well, we should just ignore it. We can't do that. You're coming with me. Oh, God, they're going to run it. What's your name? Spacey! It's funny. We have a friend named Spacey? <laughs> that makes it even funnier, actually. Levon and Levi were walking in between the shop stalls, making their way over. Levon... I started to call out to them, but stopped immediately. I'm Spacey. Uh, but I'm sure I don't look like Spacey now. I can't have them see me like this. I turned my back to the arguing shopkeepers and decided to leave. Phew, that was close. If those two were here, then this area must be under the jurisdiction of the wolves. I moved further away as I remembered my original objective. I needed to ask the hawks about the Kaleidovia, and now wasn't the time to be enjoying the festival. Oh, ah, he was all bitchy to me before, now he's all... Hello, miss, do you have a moment? Huh? I got caught again. It was a stall selling baked goods. A sweet aroma seemed to fill the entire area. In that moment, I remembered I hadn't had breakfast. It took long enough this morning to get changed into my outfit. Um, but I don't have any money. Despite my hunger, my lack of funds made the decision for me. I don't mind. Here's a sample. I just come buy it during the actual festival if you like it. Oh, and if you can, tell a friend, too. He handed over one to me as he spoke. Sh should I take it? Yes. I was still hesitant, I fell victim to its fragrance and took a bite. The layered crust made a crunching noise as I bit into the soft, warm pastry. It's making me hungry. This is delicious. I know, right? It's my pride and joy. A man that didn't look like he should be owning a shop gave a big smile. Huh. Have I met him before? Oh, right. He was with the Hawk Alliance, the one who brushed me off when I asked about the Kaleido Via last time. Yeah. You see, so the Alliance has opened up shops on this corner. I didn't know he could be so kind. Was it because I was dressed as a woman? Or because he didn't know that I was with the wolves? Either way, this is my chance to ask. Um, there's something I'd like to ask. Right when I opened my mouth... Hey, are you trying to flirt with this girl? I knew you'd be fast about it. I'm going to tell your woman about that. Hey, I'm just advertising the stall for the festival. People from other shops begin to gather. Oh, miss, if you're going to tell your friends, our wine is among the best. His baked sweets don't fill you up, and they're expensive for what they are. Hey! Our wine lasts a long while, and you can feel really good when you drink. Stop it. You should drink a lot, and I'll, I'll take you home. Yeah, you will, you perf. <laughs> if you're not into alcohol, you can use it for cooking, too. How about it? Don't you want some? Uh, um, I'm... The girls are more about fashion than eating. I have just the thing. We're planning on opening up an accessory shop. Hey, stop trying to interfere with my business. <laughs> I couldn't do anything but laugh. Whether it was the wolves or hawks, they were all the same. I'm sorry, I have never walked any place and everybody's just throwing free shit at me for being a girl. I guess I need a blonde wig. They were excited by the festive mood, but they did what they wanted in a cheerful way. God, miss, just take what you want and pass it around to your friends. Uh, go ahead. Who cares about empty sweets? I know you like wine more. You can get drunk off it, too. Oh, don't you think this hair pump would look nice on you? See? Perfect. Now I have a hairpin, a fuck ton of food. I'm like, I dig dressing like a girl. Mm, how do I get out of here? Like wine, hair, but my hair's covered in hairpins. I got like 400 like bread rolls in my arms, a couple bottles of wine. And I'm like, Ash and Hawk should try this shit. I'm just going to walk by home and be like, I got you a bunch of shit. Like apparently being dressed like a woman. I didn't even have to show any cleavage. I'm just saying. As for the results from talking to the people all day, in the end, my investigation made absolutely no progress. I barely had a chance to talk to anyone. 
The strong feeling of wasted effort remained. I even dressed up like this, too. Uh, but it was kind of fun. It just a little... See, with a, when she's dressed like a boy, the giant eyes don't bother me. When she's dressed like a girl, I'm like, can we just simmer them down a little bit? Like, I don't know what it is. She's still cute, but she's cuter dressed like a boy. I like the short hair boy look better. I mean, the dress is cute, too, but... Dressing in an outfit different from usual gave me a fresh new experience. I also managed to talk to people in the Hawk faction when they usually wouldn't give me the time of day. It wasn't all a waste. I think I can keep talking to the Hawks if I dress up like this. Oh, but it should be easier to talk to the Wolves in my regular outfit. Yeah, starting tomorrow I'll alternate between the two as needed. Various plans came to mind as I thought about it. My stride was lighter than usual because of the skirt. With no more excuses to make, I began to walk down the foggy path alone. Snowy forest. Okay. But that says male still. But we're dressed like a female. So I don't oh, wait a minute. I guess maybe the female... Hold on. I think when I looked, the female one doesn't open. Hold on. Let me go here and let me find the map thing. I think it said female... Options are until map one, map two. Are we in map three? We're in chapter two, five. I don't know what that is. Is this the square? Yes. Okay, so map three. So we do. We'll end up with a map three male and map three female. So we're in map three, but we don't have female yet. Wait, West Alley. Where's the West Alley? Which one's this? Leg treatment. Okay, so because we're still dressed, we're in the male, but we can't. How do you change that? I would have thought you could change it. That's really weird. I don't, I don't know how this works. I figured right now we would be because we're dressed like a girl, so. I'm going to open the map thing in the hold on in the in a new tab so I can just easily go back and forth to it yeah because it just says map three read watch everything of it it doesn't say that we can do it twice I don't know how to oh I see it never mind somebody's screaming at me right now I was too busy looking costume oh girl yeah okay I was like I don't know how you change it and then I I was looking at them I wasn't looking at the screen I was like, all right, so let's do this. Because these are short, so we'll do the short ones before we do the long ones. Because this is going to take up the whole part. So, favorite foods. My favorite food. A warm stews and sweets in general. I can only make pancakes in the past, but I've learned how to make biscuits. I'd like to make them for him someday. We're asking favorite foods of all of our boyfriends. That's funny. Oh, I hate that. Stay as a girl. Why does it switch back? I don't like that. That's annoying as fuck. Two masters. Lord Ogle has the power to lead the people. The Lady of the Wolves should retire from her position and give all authority to Lord Ogar. The Hawks are the superior clan that can lead the town. The town. Thus, the wolves must be sent into exile immediately. That's some fucked up shit right there. I don't like, though, that I have to keep switching my costume. I should have to... I shouldn't have to switch when we come out, but that's annoying. He's a man of honor. He can be very strict on others, but he's just as strict on himself. And that's why we serve him. The masses can move toward a common goal only when there is order. I, this is going to get really annoying really fast. I want to do all the little shorty episodes that she can do. Um, talking to people before we go. Just because this part... Because it's going to take fucking forever. There's going to be like two parts worth of this, so... Oh, he's got a name. He is quite a difficult person. As one who controls the town with an iron fist, the power from above must never waver. Else it will crumble from beneath. Master Ogar has an unwavering will. For better or for worse, he will never change. Is 
this is really annoying to have to switch back and forth constantly. So that's my complaint about this game. That is my one gripe about this game is that. That's annoying. That's just stupid. When I switch costumes, you keep me in that costume until I switch back. Don't keep flipping me. Probably the higher-ups. Just knowing about them won't change our lives one bit. Um, but if I had to say, the Lord of the Hawks is a cruel man. He would kill anyone who defies him, even his own people. Well, that's merely what I imagine. But his cold demeanor sure makes it sound real, doesn't it? I'm just going to keep bitching about that, because, like, every time I have to do it, it's making me mad. Master Lucas acts in accordance to the will of Lord Ulgar. He may be young, but he's the son of the Hawk, through and through. He has no hesitation. He's watched Lord Ulgar's example since he was young, as though I suppose it's only natural. Miss T is proper etiquette. She appears to love Master Lucas very much. That's creepy. Makes me want to cheer on Master Lucas. When I just thought about how creepy it sounds, she appears to love Master Lucas very much. That sounds creepy. I know, obviously, she loves him like a little sister, but it just, it just made, he just said it creepy, and then he makes me want to cheer him on. Why? Because you're into incest? Weird. Guy, you're weird. <laughs> Spacey reads way too much into shit. <laughs> like, Woman of the Hawk. Lord Ogar always makes common righteous decisions. As long as you follow him, you can live in safety here in this town. The wolves need to be eradicated. The town would be a much better place without them. I think I like these little short stories because I get to do, like, all sorts of, like, annoying voices. <laughs> and they're all terrible. They're all officially fucking terrible, but it's kind of fun. Legend of the Witch. A witch and anyone who's connected with the witch must be eradicated. If there's someone harboring the witch, although they deserve pity as they are just victims of the witch's wiles, they must be killed. This teaching must never be forgotten. A fire purifies everything. Burning the witch is the best way to kill her. Death to witches. You mustn't ever forget that. That's some crazy fucking shit. Fire purifies everything. Ooh. Favorite times and hobbies. None. If I had to say, be my duty for the sake of my clan. There's meaning in using time for that. Wow. Olgar's voice I can't do. He's supposed to be deep and angry. Your children. Lugus is but another subordinate of mine. There's no parent or child relationship between a superior and a subordinate. T is no different. Let's go over here to the tower. I want to do some of the short ones before we do the longer ones. You speak to me quite naturally. And perhaps you are a sorcerer or a ghost like myself. Hmm. And that is difficult to answer. I'm a taking a stroll as a hobby of mine. Going about as a cat or a bird allows me new discoveries. And you should try changing your appearance and going to town. And you may see another side of it. That is my advice to you as an astrologist. <laughs> He's such a fucking nutbag. I love him so fucking much. Evil looking man in the snowy forest. <laughs> huh? Uh, that's just some fairy tale. It's a stupid superstition that's only used to discipline children. But it'd be best not to get involved with it. There's a rumor that one who harbored the witch was murdered suddenly. And again... I don't know if that really happened. So, what you're saying is Ashen Hawk is really a ghost? We did kill him? Favorite times and hobbies. Who are we when we're actually. Like, we dress up like a woman and we go and we talk to them, but it's kind of like we're asking them questions. And, like, when we were dressed as ourselves, like the boy that everyone knows this as and we're talking to ash and all he's like i have a servant blah 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 and it's like it's, it's like you're not actually talking to me the person who is your servant like so it's weird i don't know what's going on but whatever uh, my hobby is collecting weapons i prefer ones with decorations but i tend to more often use ones that are easy to wield you don't know what situation you might find yourself in 
It doesn't hurt to learn how to wield many different kinds of weapons. I have a duty to protect my clan. It's really annoying. We have a bazillion of these. There's so many. Hey, your children. Of course. I'm proud of all three of my children. Levon, Levi, and my youngest are all wonderful children. She's like, and my youngest... And they're my treasures. Maybe we really are her kid. But again, that would make it really creepy that we're... Of course, I mean, we're all dead. So whatever relationships we have in this world does not mean that those are the relationships we have in the real world. You know what I mean? Like, if you think of Black Butterfly, we were strangers, but we were all besties. So in this, we even if we were... Oh my god, Levon and Levi are my brothers in this world. They're probably not in the real world, so... She is an intelligent and wonderful person. She never spares any effort. Except, she appears to have a little difficulty with cooking. I believe that is one of Lady Francisca's charms. She has become kinder over the years. She is a role model for all of us women in the wolf faction. Oh my god. Okay, let's do the West Alley. Oh, that's locked. Oh. Okay. Maybe we have to do all these before we can... I don't know. I fucking love it when he's got that sad face on. Because his eyes are gigantic and, and it's so comical. And I just love him so much when he's making that face. I just want him to make that face forever. Like, <laughs> always make that face because I love it. Anyway. Oh, when you ask me that again, I really have no idea. But I like reading books. People say that they didn't expect it. See, that's why he's a book nerd. Yeah, you know what? If I had to say another thing that's unexpected... I just like exercise. People always assume the opposite. Oh, whoops. Oh my god, this is killing me. It's killing me to switch. Because I'm going to forget. Oh, the wolf faction is well organized. It's all thanks to having a good leader. The current leader of the vigilantes is Levi. Ever since their numbers grew, Levon started helping with the vigilantes too. I'm sure the air is busy, so I'm really thankful to him. On the other hand, oh, those hawks are terrible. They always play favorites with their own faction. We'll show them up someday. Yeah, our family has always been with the wolf faction for generations. There's no need to be cozy with those hawks now. The current situation is normal for us. There's no need for us to yield to those guys. They're the enemy, after all. Nothing more, nothing less. Are you getting tired of the switching? Because it's killing me. Like, I'm literally, like, I want to cry. <laughs> like, ah, stop it! Shh! You better not talk about the witch! Uh, around here, the witch is the symbol of misfortune. Who oh, knows what my neighbors will say if they catch me talking about this? Uh, this is giving me the chills. Uh, this must be part of the witch's curse. Uh, you should keep quiet about it if you want to live in peace. Two masters. Lady Francisca may be a woman, but she's a brave leader. And dignified, too. Lord Ogar may be strict, but he's doing everything openly because of his pride and awareness as lord. They used to be... Huh? What? What was I going to say? Well, it's probably not important anyway. They used to be... Together? Lovers? I'm just saying. I've been wondering that the whole time. Like... Because like, oh, Ogar has, and then there, and then Francisca, and it's like her husband's missing, and then there he doesn't have a wife, and it's like, I'm just saying. And if you think about it, all of the kids, everyone's fucking blonde in this, right? But like, Lucas is blonde. Okay, Levi's got pink hair; he's like an exception. But T is blonde too, isn't she? And then like. Lavana's dark hair, like Olgar does. I'm j I mean, I mean, it just, I've been wondering, I'm like, it's kind of convenient that, like, there's a father running this over here with two kids, and there's a mother over here, so I'm just wondering if they used to be, like, together, and then. <sighs> but wouldn't Lucas know that Lavon and Levi are his siblings? Because T is younger, and they're kind of all the same age, roughly the same age. So, I mean, you could, Lavon, Lucas, Levi, Lavon, Lucas, and Levi, come on. 
I just, you know what? That's even more, like, suspicious to me now. <laughs> like, uh, I don't know, but anyway. Um, they used to be, what was I saying? They used to be in love with each other? Uh, that's not a legend. Uh, the witch does exist. Uh, that's why the town is in this state. Uh, the black shadow murders around the town are doing... Are the doing of the witch. Uh, the witch controls the minds of people to attack others. Hey, if you find the witch, can you tell me? I'll kill her for you. Once the witch is dead, uh, the misery of life here should finally end. What do I think about it? You have to kill the witch as soon as you find her. You should know that already. You want to know why? Well, that's because the snow in this town and all of the fighting is because of the witch. And her eyes turn red too. Isn't that creepy? The witches aren't human. They're monsters. <laughs> okay, so we can't do that one. I don't know what we have to clear to do that. We can't do those ones either. Oh, we could do this. So maybe we should do this and then we'll wrap the part up and then we'll come back and we'll do all the rest of her little side stories. The shorties. Um, let's do this. Shoot! I was usually able to slip through the crowd, but this time I was barely able to walk through it while gripping the hem of my skirt. I tried to dodge people and almost ran into them again and again, and I made that same exclamation each time. Shoot is probably not right. What would a lady say in this situation? Eek or something like that? Oh my god, yes. Eek! Oh! <gasps> Gasp and make sure you cover your, hand, your mouth with both of your hands. I shouldn't... I don't want to imagine myself saying that. Thank fucking god. She's the heroine we all needed. I. This is a refresher. This game is... Ref refresher this game is refreshing is what it is it's like it's like a glorious summer fucking day like oh thank you like the sun parting i mean the clouds parting in the middle of the storm and the sun beating down on you and you're in a tiny patch of spring while everybody else is in this perpetual winter and you're like thank god she's not like i don't want to say eek i want to be like fuck son of a bitch yes thank you <laughs> okay maybe not that extreme but still like god it's nice the skirt wasn't meant to be grabbed the way I was doing it. If you were pro you were probably only supposed to pinch it with your fingertips. I got the feeling that's what Francisca would have done, and I started to loathe myself. Even if I try to look the part, it seems I can't change what's on the inside so easily. I've lived as a man all my life. If I could change now, I might as well give up if I couldn't change now. Either way, I needed to stop feeling down and just do my job. I took a mo I took a look at my surroundings. I wonder if there's someone approachable around. She looks devious with that look on her <laughs> I wonder if there's someone approachable. The first person I saw was a girl at the corner of the town square. She carried a basket with tapestries in it and glanced around with a confused look. She might have been trying to sell them. But the girl continued to look confused. She was saying something, but I couldn't hear what it was. This might be nosy of me, but... I couldn't help but wonder, so I approached the girl. Tapestries... Would anyone like tapestries? They're thick and sturdy and, um... I felt sorry just listening to her. At this rate, no one would know she was selling anything. I could talk to her if I was dressed normally. But I was in this outfit right now. I should avoid attracting any kind of attention to myself. Even though I was in disguise, I might run into someone who recognized my face. I tried to think of an excuse to ignore the situation. Um... And this is... The girl whimpered out a call to a passerby and then started to lose her balance. Uh, she tripped over the basket with her merchandise and fell. Because she's a girl. That's what we do. We just fall over. Uh, the basket was turned over. She was on the ground and her eyes were all teary. My body moved before I could think. Are you okay? I peered into her face and held out my hand. I was glad to see she was wearing thick clothes, so fortunately she wasn't hurt. I helped the girl up and then dusted off her basket. Uh, the tapestries inside seemed to be okay. 
Yes. Uh, don't make that face. Uh, there's no reason to feel down. You want to sell these, don't you? Yes. Then first, take a deep breath. Once you've calmed down, let's try raising our voices together. <laughs> I'll back you up. Uh, I'd be happy to assist you. How much are you selling these for? Um, Mother said they were 30. 30, huh? All right. Then let's try calling out loudly to the customers. Huh? Oh. Handwoven tapestries. Step right up. Uh, come take a look. Great deals to be had. Come on. Tell everyone to take a look at them. T take a look. Yeah, that's the spirit. Thick and turdy. Thick and stir. Thick and sturdy tapestries. God, thick and turdy tapestries. Nobody wants a turdy tapestry. <laughs> that shouldn't be as funny as it was. Oh my god. You there, miss. How would you like one? Oh, this tapestry is for sale. Well, the pattern is a bit plain. Oh, when you have fewer colors, you can match it to more things. And it's thick and sturdy, so it'll last a while. You're right. Uh, so how much are they? They're 30. Hmm, I think I'll pass for today. I'd think about it if it were cheaper. Uh, er, er. She went away so quickly that we both let out a sigh. I had to smile, though. I tried to cheer up the girl, and I called out to the customers again. You can't get above after just one try. Look at how many people there are around. The tapestry's here. Very sturdy and warm. <laughs> Why does it matter if the tapestry is warm? It's hanging on your wall. You're not wearing it. It's not a, not a fucking scarf. Yes! She was starting to speak up, and a smile immediately came across my face. We called out in unison to a customer. Mister, you there! I just put one of these up and see how much warmer you'll be. I guess because it's, like, warming my walls? Hmm? Put one of what? A tapestry! It's hand-woven, and the pattern on it would definitely match your room. Hmm. Oh, I can tell this isn't made by a craftsman. And the color isn't fashionable. And the yarn you're using is cheap, too. Um, but we can give you a discount. How much? It's 30. Too expensive. You won't forget any buyers with that. I'll buy it for 20. Then 28. No, 21. 27. Any less than it's a bit... You'll have to do better than that. They'll sell be they sell better quality at lower prices everywhere else. Ugh... I thought about paying for the difference, but I didn't have enough money. Oh! D don't cry. The important thing here is to never give up. Then again, I've never peddled stuff before, so I don't know what's a good way to sell it. I pumped myself up so that I wouldn't get discouraged. I raised my voice one more time. A sturdy tapestry's here! Here! I yelled out loudly and looked around, and my eyes met with a man's. It's one of our boyfriendos. This was bad. I quickly look away and turn to the girl next to me. I say, can you lend me your scarf? Huh? Sure. I took the scarf and wrapped it over my mouth and nose. I also combed through my wig to cover more of my face. After doing that, I looked up one more time. Of all people, it was Levon. Please don't notice me. Please go away. But despite my prayer, Levon walked straight toward us with a big smile. What should I do? Act natural. Miss, may I see what you're selling? Sh sure. I let the girl deal with him and kept my face hidden. I see. It's handwoven. Very. It's handwoven very intricately. It must have taken a long time to make. Uh, the weaves are tight, so it looks quite warm. Yes, mother worked hard to make this. I see. So you're here to sell what your mother made. You must care deeply for her. I, um, thank you. You have to take care of your mother. A girl I know also does. And she's a very hard worker. Wait a minute, what? You have to take care of your mother. A girl I know also does. And she's a very hard worker. But he's not supposed to know that we're a girl. Does he know? I didn't know which girl he was talking about. But there was something about Levon's gentle words that warmed my heart, too. It's like, does he actually know? Do they all know? That just ruins it! They're all like, we all know, we're not stupid. Fuck, I thought I was doing so good being a boy! On the other hand, it was more important to make sure he didn't find out I was cross-dressing. 
<laughs> it's like, I've already known you're cross. Honey, you're actually straight dressing right now. It's not like, anyway. Considering how he didn't come to talk to me right away, maybe he doesn't notice. I peeked over at him, but our eyes met. This was bad. And of all things he could do, Levon gave me a big smile. I always thought this, but that smile was so attractive. Is this your, is that your sister? Oh, um, yes, I'm a distant relative. If he asked that, then he must not have known it was me. I tried to sell him on both the lie as well as the tapestry. Just as you said, it's very warm and sturdy. We're sure it'll last you a long time. Would you like to purchase one? Uh, for her sake, too. Levon was kind to small children, and he had deep pockets. If I said this, he just might buy one. I feel like I'm cheating him, but the merchandise is good, and I want to sell one for her. Yeah, such a brave girl and a kind lady are putting so much effort into talking to me. Of course I'll purchase one. Yes! Thank you! Hmm... Uh, thank you. I'll wrap it up for you. The girl started carefully rolling up the tapestry to make it easier to carry. As I watched how impressive she was at her work, I blurted out a question to Levant without thinking. Is it a gift? Oh, hmm. I would like for it to be. I wonder if he was giving it to the girl he talked about earlier. There was something suggestive about the way he said that. He's talking about you, dumbfuck. <laughs> You would like it. Even if I gave it as a gift. I think you would like it. I think she would like it. I think that's what she was supposed to be saying. Even if I gave it as a gift, she might not accept it. But I always see her work so hard. I was hoping to be able to celebrate that with her a little. He spoke quietly and smiled gently at me. For some reason, my heart jumped. Why? This wasn't about me, but... I told myself it was because of Levon's expression, and I turned away. The girl finished packing the tapestry and asked him a question out of interest. Is that person your lover? Huh? Now I was interested, although I'd never ask him about it. It was entirely possible for Levon. But Levon maintained his expression as he answered. And that would be wonderful if it were true. He then exchanged his coins for the merchandise and left the square. My heart beat much faster than it should have. Thank you so much! I would never have been able to sell one by myself. I'm wondering if he's thinking about us and not realizing that we're the one in standing right in front of him. But he knows that we're a girl. He knows Spacey is really a girl, but he doesn't know Spacey is Spacey. <laughs> so confusing when you have the same name. And that's not true. Have confidence. That man complimented you. Yes, I'll try my best even when I'm alone next time. <laughs> that's the spirit. The girl smiled at me before leaving. Phew. I was left in the corner of the town square while thinking about that about the exchange from earlier. I see. So you're here to sell what your mother made. You must care deeply for her. You have to take care of your mother. A girl I know also does. She's a very hard worker. But the thing is, is we don't take we don't take care of our mother, though. You know what I'm saying? So it's like he could be talking about us, and I'm sure it's supposed to be, but we are a very hard worker, but we don't take care of our mother. We're taking care of ourselves. You know what I, I, so I don't understand. Well, anyway. Is it a gift? Even if I gave it as a gift, she might not accept it. But I always see her work so hard. I was hoping to be able to celebrate that with her a little. Levon said that person wasn't his lover, but from the way he talked, he seemed rather close to her. Are there someone he likes? I didn't know anything for certain, but I could tell that Levon had feelings for that person. Levon, I couldn't help but think about it again. We grew up as brothers, so that news came as such a surprise to me. I didn't know how to accept that information as I left the square. Here we go. Alright, so I'm going to wrap this part up here because, um, you know. And then we'll come back and we'll do some of the other shorty stories. And, like, I don't think we can do the tavern ones. No, but we can do all the rest of her short stories in the next part. There's only, like, a few of them. And then we'll go on, do the other things. So the next part will probably be 
Kind of like the last part where this is all we're doing. <laughs> so, anyway. I will see you guys next time. Remember to give the video a big thumbs up. And subscribe to see more.